everyone, my name is Michaela. I am a 20 year old college student at Louisiana State University and welcome to my guide of surviving college. So I decided to make this series because that's probably one of the most watched videos on my channel is actually my LSU question and answer which I'll have linked above. But I decided to make it into a series so I can go a little bit more in depth on questions and on certain topics so y'all can really understand what it's like for me personally as a college student attending out of state school and attending a really big public university. So let's get started. In today's video's topic we're talking about the application process because that's obviously the first step when applying for colleges you have to actually apply to go to college the first question is when did I apply so I applied in 2017 of October I applied Halloween night and the reason why I applied Halloween night is because LSU had actually offered a free coupon code for Halloween I'm not sure if they do that every single year I don't think they did that this year but they just had a free coupon code and that's literally the only reason why I remember the actual date I applied because it was Halloween night and it was free of course a lot of y'all want to know when I received my decision I get college is an anxious time college acceptance is a very anxious time I didn't get my decision until about late February early March I want to say so it took roughly about four months for me to get my decision I actually got an email acceptance before I even got my letter in the mail my physical acceptance letter didn't come till about a month after I got the email acceptance the next question I get asked a lot is did I apply for the honors college so many of y'all if you watched my videos before you know my freshman year I lived in the honors college dorm I was not a part of the honors college so so I was not in the honors college. I didn't even apply to be in the honors college. My roommate was part of the honors college and that's how I got to live there, which I'll get into on another topic video. Another question I get asked a lot is if I submitted my test scores and if so, what were my test scores or what were the actual scores? So, so I applied in 2017 and this is pre-COVID. So mind everyone had to submit their test scores. This wasn't an option, but LSU has changed their policy of test scores for 2020 at least, where I know they did weigh that part of the application. It's not a requirement to submit your test scores. So you might not have to, but I had to, to even um, submit my application. Unfortunately, I don't remember my test scores, but I can tell you right now, they're like a, a little bit above average. It was nothing extraordinary. I took the SAT and the ACT one time. Literally, I took them both one time and that was it. I was done. I had major senioritis and I was like, if I get in, I get in. If I don't, I don't. Another question I get asked a lot is, did I pay application fee? I did not pay application fee. My fee was waived because of the coupon code they had sent out on Halloween night of 2017. However, I do know this year that the early action slash early decision fee was $75 and the regular decision fee was $50. Another question I get asked a lot is how and what did I choose as my major? So for LSU's application process, you have to choose a major, obviously. Basically, how I chose my major is I went as the most broad major there was for what I thought I wanted to do. So I chose biology and I was on a pre-med track. I'm currently not on a pre-med track anymore and I'm not a biology student anymore. I am a kinesiology pre-athletic training concentration, working on a business minor. So as you can see, I kind of did, you know, change my field of study just a little bit. It's just biology wasn't as hands-on as I wanted to be with my degree or even my profession once I graduate college. Oh, the next question actually someone asked me is did I choose a minor on my application? I did not choose a minor on my application at all. I was just simply a biology major with a pre-med concentration. You don't have to have a pre-med concentration to be a biology major. I just want to put that out there. You could just be a biology major. I didn't choose a minor until this past semester actually so it took me about two and a half, three-ish years to actually decide what type of minor I wanted to pursue here. Another question I get asked a lot is did I submit a college essay? So I'm not sure if LSU has changed this policy on their application fee due to COVID, making it a requirement since y'all don't have to submit test scores, but it was optional to submit an essay. Now, even though it was optional, I still submitted an essay with all my college applications just because it's something I wanted to do personally. I'm not sure if that gave me a leg up or if they even looked at it. They might have just thrown it out. I have no idea. Another question I get asked a lot is what topic was my college essay about? So I wrote a college essay. Obviously, you know, it's supposed to be kind of personal to you. I wrote about how my, I kind of wrote about how my natural hair in its physical state was um, a picture example of how my inner struggles of finding myself in beauty uh, living in a predominantly white area growing up and I just kind of use my natural hair transformation to kind of personify that okay you guys so that is it for this section of the video it's kind of short the application process is kind of pretty much straightforward as a lot of it does pertain to you personally and it's not so much of a broad spectrum but I hope y'all enjoyed this portion of the series and I'll see y'all in the next one bye guys